Your name is Yahweh. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of our great state, the right, the honorable speaker of the State House of Assembly, the single Senator John Azutan Bata, the chairman of our party in the state, the chairman of the Elders Council, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, the Deputy Governorship candidate of our party, the mayor of Port Harcourt, leaders of our party and the state that are here, the chairman of River State and Council, and members of their council, the Ezeparan Rebisi, and members of their council, members of the State House of Assembly that are here, members of National Assembly that are here, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all thank all our leaders who since we started commissioning and flagging up our projects have always identified and honored our invitation. I sincerely want to thank all of you for this solidarity and commitment to our government. I was just asking the Commissioner of Special Projects, even though he was not the one that made sure this project was completed, why they could not prepare the documentary. If you are seeing what used to be here, then you know a great job has been done. I was, I was passing one day, I just told my convoy to stop. And the convoy stopped, I came in here. What I saw was something else. Criminals and robbers. And I said no. If you know the history of this building, you will marvel. Some of our citizens were involved in trying to take away this property from government. Some of them said, oh, the matters in litigation. You know this community called International Energy, International Energy, IE, or something like that. Some of our citizens were concerned. People like to take what belongs to government. I said, no. Government must take back its property. And I thank God today, this property has come back to the state. Look at how beautiful this property is. A dollar used to be here. You know, a dollar went away. Because here also turned to be, we are all these boys, Indian health workers. What other thing that is bad associated to this place? So today we thank God that we have turned the landscape of this area to be something defeating. The only thing is that our government cannot use here. And so we have been thinking, do we lease it or do we sell it? For me, I prefer if we can sell it and use the money and do another project. Because if we begin to lease, part of the problem we had water line, with all due respect, is that civil servants will lease these things, and then you wouldn't know where the money is going to. Every day you will see fight. In fact, before we took over uh, water line, it was a big fight. Some people went to court that they had paid for 10 years. Show us the account the money was paid, nobody knows. And so I have to take my experience as a lawyer. I said, okay, we will know what to do. And before they knew it, we would chase them away. That was how we took back that waterline house and we have changed it today. So we we'll look at it. If you enter here, we refuse to furnish it because since government will not use it, we don't need to have furnished. Those who will buy it or lease it, 
they know what they want, so they'll be able to furnish it to the taste they want. But when you go there, you will see what we have been able to do. It is purely built like a bank. It is purely built for a banking purpose. And so we urge bankers and other financial institutions to come and take it. In fact, I, let me say this on national television, so anywhere he is, you hear it. Our brother Herbert Uigwe, I told him, come and buy this. I make here the regional headquarters of Access uh, Bank. Not every time Lagos, Lagos, come and buy here. If there's any reverse man too, who is willing, we are willing to sell it to them and take that body and do another thing. So that when companies are here, they will pay their taxes. We will make money from them. And we have used the money to develop other things, but that we should give here to service of another to die in the next six uh, months. So I thank you. And I thank the contractor. The contractor completed this edifice on time. I never had any problem with the contractor. I think during, um, during the renovation of this uh, edifice, I've been here not less than three, four times to see what they are doing. So I thank the communities here, the Budapest community, the Origin community that have supported the contractors on not making trouble. If you are passing along this street today, you will see how it has changed this area. If you look at the back, where we have immigration, all kinds of people now, that place was a no-go area. But we have to turn it around, build more structures, and most of the federal agencies are there occupying those areas. So, uh, but this time around, we are not going to give out this kind of property to any agency. If the agency wants, then they'll come and buy it at once. Or they lease it. I'll use the money, find one road or the other, and put the money there. So I thank all of you. But let me also use this opportunity. You know, I have told people. Let us live in peace. So many people think that if they don't talk about us, they will not survive. People like to use the dead or the death of our prominent people to play politics. If you go for a burial, are you going to honor a man who has died? You honor the man and not to use the man's death to play politics. Well, let me use the opportunity to say I'm so disappointed that the former Minister of Transportation, Dr. Mia Mechi, will still come to this state to talk about this government of not giving late Alabama Graham Douglas a state barrier. It's unfortunate. I asked him, when Alabama was sick, where were you? This state government committed so much amount of money to make sure Alabo survived. I want to challenge anybody who did not spend less than 50 million Naira to make sure our elder statesman survived. It is the survival we want. We wanted him to be alive. When his son had an accident, the late son had an accident and was flown to London. This state government took the cost of it. Go and ask people. We don't need to have said all these things. But when people come, they talk in the public. You like to go and elogize the dead. But then let me ask you. I met you. When Alamo Grand Douglas was alive, he told you to honor him by elevating the stool of Amarabo when he was alive. He said, please, Mr. Governor, honor me by elevating the stool of Amayanabo, of Abonima. He did not do it. I came and elevated the stool to first class stool. <laughs> Amaji, Alabo told you, please help me and do the ring road in Abonima so that we will not be having a problem of if we have occasion everybody will be trapped on one road. To show you love the man, he refused to do it. I did it. When Alaba was alive, 
He told the merchant, now please, not in my life. Why don't do the Transcalabari Road? You didn't do it. I'm the one doing it. So, who is the man who loves Alabo? You now went to because the man is dead. I know why you went there. You have interest. Everybody knows. Everybody knows you, know, you have interest. The only way you can love the man is to go there when the man has died. But when the man was alive, do this thing for the man to be happy, he didn't do it. That was how when Karibi White died. Before the man died, you went and pulled down our general hospital. That you are going to build Karibi White Hospital. Karibi White died. He never saw one block you laid. But when the man died, he went there to say, oh, Calabari people, you people don't know what to do. They have so much insecurity, so much. But look at the man, you put down our own hospital and said you are going to build a 1,000 hospital that will be called Caribbean White Hospital. Caribbean White has died, no one block. That is the man, that is how you elogize people. When, when Captain Elijah Mari died, in fact, before Captain Elijah Mari's death, you say you are going to build faculty of humanities. That's why you try to lay block. You abandoned it. I came, I went, and I completed that building. Even though everybody knows you have interest in his family. That is the kind of life you live. That is the kind of life you live. When Elijah Amadi died, there was no road to Elijah Amadi's house for a man you say you love. I came. I sent MCC to go and do that road. That road was done. And that was how Captain Elijah Amadi was buried. So you should be ashamed of yourself. Instead of you to come and go and say, oh, our late elder has died. May so rest in peace. You come and open your mouth to talk politics in this state. I thought some people should know that there are, there are limitations to everything. If you did not say what you said on Saturday, I wouldn't have exposed you that people didn't know you have interest in everywhere. We care if you talk up, we don't say you they do um. If another one talk up, we don't say that they play politics. Must you have interest in every man that you said is your friend? I mean, some people should be quiet. We have taken all your people, nobody in your party again. Why not manage and stay? Because of your poor leadership. Tell River State people, as a minister of transportation, what did you do for your people? Seven years. Seven good years. All you are interested in doing business with CCECC. Standard gauge and the other gauge. Up to now, no gauge. You have not studied from Portugal to Bediguri. Show reverse people what you did for them. When I was a minister, a junior minister in that matter, I brought faculty of law, University of Portacourt. As a junior minister in that matter, I brought oil and gas polytechnic in Boni. As a junior minister in that matter, I gave grants to Kenule uh, Polytechnic and Ignatia Azure University. As a junior minister, I renovated most of the secondary schools in this state. Tell us. As a great a minister, what you brought. You think you can deceive us it again, but when, now you go for better. You are not happy that the state did not give Arab Grand Douglas. Why will I do that? When I saw you who have brought politics to the man's better, I said, okay, let me withdraw myself. I don't want to be involved in this uh, politics. If we could spend such amount of money to save our elder our leader, why you could not bring one now? If all of you who are claiming to be protocol boys are donating money, why didn't you donate money to save the man that time? We like to elogize the dead. We don't want to elogize the living. When Alamo was alive, how did you elogize him to say this will be known as Alamo Graham Douglas? Uh, so, whether this road, whether this. But when I came, I honored him and gave him. Distinguished service star of uh, River State. He was not dead when I gave him. It was not a post mortem award. 
all their own is when Allah was not around, you, you go and visit them. Well, Abigima, 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 it's supposed to come to us, you block it. But we didn't bother. You think you will not finish as a minister? You have left. I hear you can't even enter Villa now. All those people, all you intimidate the police people, army people, it's over. When you used to tell them the president's angry with you, now go and tell them, and they will tell them which president are you see. You have seen no president. So for me, I'm very proud of myself and my team. I'm proud that. I have done something in this state. Yes, I may not have satisfied everybody, but I know majority of the people of this state will say this administration has done a lot to improve our state. So don't distract us again. If you distract us again, I will say more things that Nigeria, when they see you, they will pour you hot water. Because agreement is agreement, yo. Agreement is agreement, yo. Make we do it till we talk. You can't be changing topic. Agreement is agreement, yo. The atrocities is too much. So be careful. We are prosecuting you. You are running around. You are running around. Pressure to the IG. Please, they should not allow them to testify. What they, you say your hands are clean. Why not come to court so that they will ask you question? Did you do this or not? Stop doing everything to make sure that the trial does not go on. It will go on. No matter how you do it, even if I leave office, the incoming government will make sure that trial must uh, go on. You can't run away from it. Because you told people lies. You don't like money. Meanwhile, your eye doesn't see money at all at all. So, my brother, let me just stop here and not allow people to provoke us. Because. Uh, if, 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 if I release what I have, if I release what I have, even your wife will leave yourself. So on that note, let me invite our leaders to join me so that we commission this project. As he they bend them, he they see with us. As he they see with us, he they prepare them.